What's up guys, it's FM Tech Source, and due to popular request, welcome to Setup Wars episode 133, Girl Edition. If you guys want to participate on the next one, make sure to submit your setup by watching the video link below. Let the Setup Wars begin. Starting off the episode, we got Elizabeth and her setup that she uses for gaming and homework. She's using a 23 inch monitor from Dell, a mechanical gaming keyboard from Blackweb, and a wireless mouse from Logitech. For audio, she's using the Turtle Beach PX3s and a pair of Dell speakers, but she also has a microphone setup as well with a rebranded BM800 microphone. I gotta say I like your taste in cars. We got the McLaren P1 on the right side, and at first I thought the left one was an Aventador, but it's actually a Veneno. Shout out to my Twitter followers for that super fast response by the way. I also like the custom made monitor stand using the House of Night series books. That's one way to use them I guess. But I do strongly recommend an actual monitor stand. I know that you're on a tight budget, but you can actually buy one for as little as $13 from Amazon, or better yet, there is one that has space for extra storage like sheets of paper and even supplies on the right side for only $4 more. And since you are going with a black and blue color scheme, the monitor riser would fit right in. Also I'm not sure why you connected your headset and keyboard to the front USB panel of your case. Your setup would look a lot cleaner if it's hidden behind your PC instead. And speaking of cables, I don't know if Frankenstein himself was involved in the management, but yeah, you can definitely clean that up a bit. First up, I would get rid of all of those nasty zip ties and electrical tape. I would pick up some cable sleeves, velcro straps, and this cable box. The type of desk you have doesn't really work well with the tuck it in method, as I explained in my cable management guide. Your setup actually would benefit from the let it hang instead. Wrap the cables together using the velcro and run them through the cable sleeve and store the excess cables along with the power strip inside the cable box on the ground. The PC powering the setup has an FX 6300 and a GTX 1050 Ti and it also looks like you forgot to plug in the USB cable to the motherboard header. If you're wondering why one of the front USB ports don't work, well that's why. You can even use some velcro straps to tie the XLR cable alongside the boom arm so that way it's not just hanging down like that next to your desk. I feel like with some minor tweaks you can improve your setup greatly, thank you Elizabeth for starting off the episode. Enya is up next all the way from Norway and this is her setup for gaming, streaming and editing. She didn't include her Twitch account for some reason so I'm gonna share it with you guys and I'll link it below so make sure to stop by and say what's up. She's rocking two 24 inch monitors that are hooked up against a mount and the desk she's using is called the Vika Amon and it's from Ikea. On the desk she's rocking the Razer Chroma Black Widow keyboard and the SteelSeries Rival 700 mouse. She doesn't use any speakers, however she does have two sets of headsets. We got the SteelSeries Arctic 500 for the PC and the Turtle Beach Elite 800s for the PS4. I love the black, white, and red color scheme you have going on there, but I feel like you can be more consistent with it. Picking up some red skins for the PS4 will definitely contribute, and you should consider wrapping the edge of the desk in some red skins as well, just to give it that nice contrast against the black. Also, I'm not sure how invested you are with that current mouse pad, but if this was my setup, I would replace it with any of these three options that I found on Amazon. My personal pick would be this one from Enhance. Honestly, it looks sick, but either way, I'll leave a link to everything I mentioned down below. The PC powering the setup is a gorgeous, very clean build featuring the 6700K and the Asus Strix 1060. I like the custom cables and the AIO tubing from Cable Mod, and the icing on the cake was that custom backplate from V1 Tech. Nicely done. By the way, the lights on one of your RAM sticks are off, in case you didn't notice. I like that you mounted the blue Snowball Ice microphone behind the monitors, and I also noticed that there are two lamps mounted on the desk as well. This is a great way to add some extra light in your setup if you don't have any space on the desk itself. Pretty good job with the cable management, I don't have any major complaints. You did keep all the wires off the ground and even velcroed some of them to the legs to keep it from flaring out. The cables on top of the desk, however, can be slightly adjusted. I don't know if you really need all that cable slack for the mouse, but if you don't, I do recommend hiding some of that excess underneath the keyboard. Overall, this is an awesome streaming and editing setup. Thank you, Anya, for entering. Once again, guys, I'll drop a link to her Twitch account if you want to check it out. 
At number 3 we have Melanie and her setup that she uses for productivity and gaming. She also has a YouTube channel called Easy Tech and I'll drop a link below if you guys want to check it out. She's using two Acer monitors that she hooked up on a desk mount and above that is a 24 inch Samsung monitor that she uses for console gaming. The desk she built consists of the wooden Carlby countertop and two Alex drawers. I definitely approve of that combination. For peripherals, she's rocking the E-Element mechanical RGB keyboard and the Rocat Cone gaming mouse. I love that you combine both of the cables together like this, it looks very clean. For audio, she's using the Superlux HD681 semi-open headphones and the Insignia speaker set with the subwoofer underneath the desk. For voiceover, she's using the NW700 microphone and boom arm combo that also comes with the included Phantom power supply. Some other stuff that she's got on the desk include a League of Legends Funko Pop, a Day of the Dead skull thingy, and a jar filled with some lights. That actually looks pretty cool. Cable management underneath the desk is done very well, nice use of the signal rack to hold everything up, and although I'm against using tape against the cables, it does get the job done, so that's cool. Finally, we got her PC that's powering this setup, and it's actually using a case that I haven't seen yet. So this is the Apivia X Cuber, I think that's how you say it, I don't even know at this point. It's actually a cool looking micro ATX cube case. I might have to do a build in this sometime, but I'm definitely going to be using the pink version though. Melanie, you got a very clean and beast setup, thank you for entering and good luck with your channel. If you guys want to check her out and show her some love, I'll drop a link to the channel below. All the way from England, we got Sophie who is going to school for mental health nursing. However, her passion is doing YouTube full time and this is her setup that she uses mainly for gaming, editing and even streaming at times. If you guys want to show some love on her YouTube channel, I'll drop a link below. Alright, so she was going for an all white color scheme and I gotta say she did a pretty good job overall with the part selection. Personally, I would have gone with the Razer Invicta instead of the Firefly if you really wanted an all white setup. I only say that because it doesn't look like you're going for any contrast, so that black mouse pad kind of just throws off the color scheme a bit. She does have a dual monitor setup for streaming, featuring two 24 inch curved monitors from Samsung that are hooked up against the wall, and powering the setup is the GTX 1060 from EVGA and a 7700K, a very clean build inside the S340 case. Sophie stated that she likes to keep her desk clutter free, so when she's not streaming, she sometimes removes the mouse and mouse mat off the desk while she's using her Xbox One. Same with the blue Snowball Ice microphone and the Razer Kraken Pro headset. When I was watching her setup video, it looks like she hooks up the Snowball Ice mic to a boom arm and attaches that to the left side of the desk. If you ask me, it's kind of inconvenient constantly moving around your mic setup. Personally, I would just leave it there. And if you really are bothered by it, you can actually hook it up behind the monitor somehow. See if you can hook up the boom arm on the wall mount itself so that you can hide it whenever you're done using it. Hiding the headset is understandable since that is smaller and easier to disconnect, but the mic setup is a different story. Another thing I would recommend to clean up your setup a bit is by rotating the Razer mouse pad sideways and routing both mouse and mouse pad wire underneath the keyboard and out through the top. This will eliminate the number of cables you have going across your desk for a much cleaner look. The cables under the desk, however, are managed very well. It looks like you spend quite some time organizing everything. If you want to get that Xbox off the ground, I recommend mounting it either against the wall or underneath your desk. And you can actually do that by using this popular hide it adjustable mount. It's a bit pricey, but it's one of the best universal mounts out there. You can use it to mount pretty much anything underneath your desk, whether it's the Wii U, Xbox, PlayStation 4, or anything that's rectangular. Uh, and I know Sophie, you live in the UK, so I actually did some research and I found one that's a little cheaper and also closer to you. I'll drop a link to that one below as well. You said in your video that you hate going to school and that's not your passion. Instead, you want to create content for a living. I just want to say that I was in the same boat as you were. I was going to school for three years studying computer engineering and I absolutely hated it. I had no passion in that. And once I gained enough traction on YouTube, I actually quit, I dropped out of school and I pursued YouTube full time. And here I am four years later. I guess what I'm trying to say here is always follow your passion. Whoever you are out there watching this video, just don't make any harsh decisions unless you're 100% confident that 
that is what you want to do for the rest of your life. Don't look at what other people have because it's unrealistic to achieve their same goals. For the longest time, I wanted to be the next PewDiePie, but <laughs> that is never going to happen. So instead, I focused on my goals and what I wanted to achieve. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked here. I just I saw that poster or the picture on Sophie's wall that said, do what you love. And it kind of sparked me to say something about it. You got an awesome and very clean setup. I'm confident with some minor tweaks that it will look even better. Thank you, Sophie, for entering. And good luck with your school and YouTube channel. Wrapping up the episode is Steph and her triple display setup featuring three 27-inch ASUS monitors. We got the Logitech G810 keyboard and the G502 mouse. True story, this table is actually a dining table, so there's that. For audio, she's rocking the Logitech G933 headset and the Logitech Z506 speakers, which she installed around her room with some custom-made brackets. I guess she was going for a surround sound setup. Excellent work with the cable management, I don't have a single complaint. I also like that you used a cable raceway for the speaker wires against the wall. Most people would actually leave the cables alone, so it's nice to see that. The PC powering the setup is sadly on the ground and it's rocking the 4790K and a GTX 980. Honestly, it's a sick looking black and red setup inside the Corsair Carbide 760T. But if you ask me, I think that you have extra space on the table for your PC. Just move everything to the left side and you should have extra space to put your PC on the right. I would also move that sub down to the floor. Not a bad setup, a little bit overkill for my taste, but you managed to keep it very clean and organized. Thank you, Steph, for entering. And that pretty much wraps up this episode. As always, make sure you guys drop your comments below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. And I'll announce the winners on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy setup wars, dropping a like would be awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.